I am a huge fan of lasagna, but sometimes they're just a little too heavy. This zucchini ribbon lasagna is a perfect way to lighten up a really delicious, nutritious dish. So I'm gonna start by making a really hearty turkey sauce. I have my pan over medium heat, adding about two tablespoons of olive oil, and I've chopped up one medium onion. So we'll season this with a little bit of salt, red pepper flake. You get the red pepper flakes in early with the oil, it'll help season the dish throughout because it'll really infuse the oil. Give it a stir and wait for the onions to become tender, which will take about six minutes or so. Onions are looking nice and tender. Got a little caramelization on them, which is always great for flavor. So to this, add 12 ounces of ground turkey meat. I'm using dark meat here because I like that flavor. You can also use white meat. And just break up the turkey using the back of your spoon. And just cook this until the pinkness is no longer there. Already smells amazing. Looking great. Okay, so let's add the tomatoes. This is one 28 ounce can of whole peeled tomatoes with their juices, and I just threw this in the blender, pureed it until it was smooth. So we'll turn this down so it's just simmering gently. Ooh, let's add some chopped oregano too. This will add a really nice, fresh, herbaceous flavor. We're looking for about two tablespoons chopped. If you don't have fresh oregano, you can also use a pinch of dried. Just definitely use a little bit less of the dried varieties because they tend to be a little bit more potent. So we'll lower this, let this simmer away. And we wanna let this meld and become a little bit thicker. It's gonna take about 20 minutes. So it's been about 20 minutes. My sauce has reduced beautifully. It's nice and thick, tasty. Just turn off the heat there. We'll let the sauce stand while we get our noodles prepared. I'm gonna work on the zucchini. So start by just trimming the tops off of two medium zucchini and then thinly slice them. We're looking for about an eighth of an inch or so. I like using a mandolin. You can also use just a regular old Sharps chef's knife. And very carefully slice lengthwise instant noodles. No need to boil them. You're getting all the extra vitamins, nutrients, fiber of the zucchini, and really easy to prepare. This is a great way to get more vegetables into your diet if you're looking to cut a few carbs, all vegetables all the time. Gorgeous. Now it's time to assemble the best part. I have a nine inch baking dish. So start by layering about five or six slices of the zucchini in the bottom of a pan. I'm gonna go for sort of the stragglers here that don't look quite as beautiful. And you just wanna overlap them slightly here, about like so. Give it a good seasoning of salt. And then we'll add about a cup of sauce. You can just kind of eyeball this. We're gonna be using three different layers with the sauce. So if it's easier to just look in your pan and sort of divide it by thirds, then dot with ricotta. I have one cup here and we're gonna use a quarter cup for each layer. So again, just sort of eyeball your amount. Looks good. Okay, now for the next layer. We're going to change the directions so that we make sure we have full coverage in the pan. Start by layering your zucchini, like so. Season, top with sauce, and dollop with cheese. So I'm using ricotta here. If you wanted to use a mozzarella, that would be really delicious as well. More zucchini. We'll change the direction once again. Season with salt. Now don't worry if this seems sort of tall. As it cooks and the zucchini breaks down a little bit, it will sink. Very last of the sauce here. Another great thing about this dish is you can make ahead the sauce. You can have the sauce, you can even slice up the zucchini, so you can get this assembled and ready to go for dinner right after you get home from work. Final zucchini layer. Okay, season with salt. And for the top layer, I'm going to brush the ribbons with a little bit of olive oil. This is just gonna help make them caramelize while they're baking, give them really, really great flavor. Okay, final ricotta. So for the top here, I'm gonna make some sort of larger dollops just because they're pretty that way. All done. So into the oven we go. This is gonna bake at 375, uncovered for about 50 to 60 minutes. You wanna see bubbling and the zucchini should be nice and browned on top. Okay, so the lasagna has set for about five to 10 minutes. You don't wanna cut into it right after it comes out of the oven because it'll be blazing hot. Sprinkle with a little red pepper flake. Who doesn't love a little extra spice? And some fresh oregano sprigs. This really adds a nice herby flavor. Lovely. All right, cannot 
wait to get into this. So let's slice this up here. Smells great. Beautiful. All right, let's try. Mmm, so delicious. It's hearty and noodle-free.